What's goody, y'all? Welcome back to the Winner's Circle, y'all. So today's video, I'm going to give you five signs that you are already rich, that you are already successful, that you are already on the up and up. Because a lot of the times we, we start looking at our provisions, start looking at our assets, and we think, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. And being successful, being rich, being wealthy does not always mean how much money you got in your bank account. As long as you got peace of mind, you have everything that you need, you got a roof over your head, you are fed. I need you to understand that you are already rich you are already rich in spirit and so i need you guys to start embodying that energy and the more you embody that the more you will manifest it in your uh, physical reality okay before we get into the meat of this video though if this is your first time seeing me make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the winner circle and yeah because you're really gonna love it here if you're my day ones you already know what's up i love y'all so much um let's get into this video okay because i feel like this is a topic that is necessary for us to talk about and so I can really just emphasize some things and, and point out some things into your life that we can start paying attention more to really um, blossom and, and magnify what we already have, okay? So five signs that you are already rich, okay? So the first sign is that um, you have peace of mind. A chaotic life is a poor life, y'all. And I cannot stress this enough that um, money doesn't go where there's a lot of noise. Remember, money is an energy. Money does not go where there's a lot of noise, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, um, a lot of arguing. Uh, that is all like extremely low vibrational stuff and money does not like that, those, that kind of energy. That actually is a repellent for money. It pushes money away. And because money is an energy, money, um, if you haven't seen my alignment video, watch that alignment video. You got to be in alignment with the, the finer things in life. That means your personality has to exude that your mindset has to exude that the way that you think the way that you reason the way that you operate the way that you move in life has to exude the same um almost the same level as money. If money is on a 10, you energetically, you want to have yourself placed on a 10. A chaotic life is a poor life. You guys, I cannot stress that enough. So let, let's, let, let's lock, let's look at, um, Okay, like if you go, let's say you go to a club, you know what I'm saying? You you go to the club, you know, it's, it's packed, it's booming, it's popping. 10 times out of 10, that club is loaded with broke people. All the people who drunk on the dance floor, head banging, coop, bumping, twerking, bumping booties, bumping cats, all that crazy stuff. You All this chaos, 10 times out of 10, everybody on that dance floor is probably broke. OK, and I'm not I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm here to keep it real and bring some realizations to you guys. Pretty much everybody in that club is probably broke. And this is why you see shootouts at clubs. And this is why you see uh, people fighting over each other's dudes in the club. And, oh, you bumped into me and oh, this and all that. Not only are not only is there the the, the demeanor in the club disgusting, but it, it's all low vibration. It is, it's, it, it is extremely low vibration. These type of people don't have much substance to them lives. You might catch a person or two who got substance in their life in, in a type of environment like that. But I can guarantee you these type of people have no substance to their life. They, um, they don't have nothing to lose. Only people who don't have nothing to lose are out in the streets fighting people, picking fights with people, being super argumentative. When you got too much to lose, you're not in these streets acting reckless, okay? You're just not in the streets acting reckless at all. So these type of environments with the loud noise, the loud the loud music playing, and don't misunderstand me, I love loud music. Like I listen to music all day, every day, all the time. Like music is my life. I love music and I express myself a lot through music. I grew up as a dancer and grew up as a cheerleader. So I'm used to having loud music booming. I'm not talking about so much that the music is loud. I'm talking about so much of the environment. The, the music is loud, yes, but the, the, the type of people that's in the those environments 10 times out of 10 y'all those people are broke music does not like chaos music or, or not music money does not like chaos money does not like um does not like drama does not like all of this hyper vigilant stuff going on that that's that that's low vibrational people now in comparison to okay so that's the club so now if you look at like a country club you know what I'm saying? If you go to like a, a suburban neighborhood and they got their own country club, you go to a country club and it's more quiet. People are playing chess. People are playing um, golf outside. People are taking piano lessons. People are, uh, it's more of a, it's, it's more of a, um, 
more of a sophisticated environment and there's not all of this loudness this chaosness this drunkenness this um you you know you might see people drinking at a country club but you're gonna see people um you're gonna see businessmen in suits having you know some 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 whiskey on the rocks or something you might see um so some some women drinking um out, out of a champagne glass or something you're gonna see a very different kind of demeanor and kind of character and that's where and you could just tell the, the type of environment that you in okay these people have a little bit more money than the people in the club that's because money don't like chaos money does not like chaos money does not like arguing money does not like um um f fighting money all of these negative things that will literally repel money away from you so right now is a good time to do yourself a self-check and say okay what is my character like am i always gossiping Am I always trying to fight people? Am I always popping off? Do I got road rage all the time? I used to have bad road rage, y'all. Like, I used to be ready, especially living in California, growing up on the west side. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm talking Cal Cali traffic, LA traffic ain't no joke. I'm talking 10 lanes on each highway and all of them packed all hours of the day. Like, you, be so, you just learn how to whip that thing and be boss hogging and it gives you road rage. Like, can y'all just go? But money does not money is not attracted to that kind of behavior and i'm so grateful so glad that i'm no longer like uh in that panic rush of state of state of mind um because it, it just it, it just makes you feel so ugh when you're in a rush when you're in a panic it makes you feel disgusting doesn't it money don't like that kind of energy so the next time you panicking the next time you rushing tell yourself let me take some, let me take a sit back let me take my time because number one if you rushing somewhere you you might get into an accident and number two rushing is a low vibrational type of um, behavior don't rush take your time take your time if you late going somewhere you already late don't rush and get a ticket don't rush and hurt yourself don't rush and accidentally hurt somebody else Money does not like chaos. So some of you guys have grown up in, um, let me know in the comment section if you ever grew up in a home where there was domestic, domestic violence or parents arguing all the time, grandparents arguing all the time. It doesn't even have to be like physical fighting, um, but it could be emotional um, emotional abuse. But especially if, if you guys grew up in an environment where there's a lot of arguing, a lot of this, a lot of that, 10 times out of 10, they were arguing about money problems. Or if the problem wasn't about money, Money is the reason why they pissed off in the first place. Money was the reason why they own edge. Money is the reason why they not they lose and sleep. Money is the reason why why um a, a lot of husbands and wives and a lot of people in partnerships are really arguing with each other. Ten times out of ten, they was probably arguing about money. And the more they argue about money, the more they manifest the lack of it. The more they the more they get into it about their finances, the more they manifest the lack of it. And people who grow up in abusive homes. I, I can guarantee you there was no money there. There was no money there. Now, you, of course, you got your exception in all things that we do. There, Of course, there's richer families or more well-off financial families who do have money who might get into some argue, arguments. But 10 times out of 10, people who go through domestic, who, who grew up in domestic violence households, the daddy was broke. The mama was broke. They were struggling. They was beating each other down. Money does not like chaos. Money does not like argument argue argumentative uh, money does not like drama money does not like all of that all of that extraness it literally repels money away money will run from you run from your household run out your bank account run out your pockets stay away from you keep keep opportunities from coming to you if you live in a chaotic environment if you live in a chaotic house so so make sure your make sure your house is your peace make sure your house is your sanctuary your sanctuary because it is going to be a direct reflection of the type of money you're able to attract okay so keep if you got a peaceful home you attracted more opportunities. If you have a peaceful home, you attracted more people in your life that that are um, that resonate with that type of vibration that you're bringing off. Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. If you realized, okay, you know, maybe you was with in, in a relationship and there was always chaos, but the moment you left that relationship and now you have peace, you probably got a little bit more money or a lot more money. Let me know in the comment section if I'm right, y'all. You know what I'm talking about, okay? You've experienced this. You probably just didn't... Um, Put, you probably just didn't correlate the two, okay? This is why when people end up leaving relationships that are extremely toxic, extremely um, abusive, mentally, physically, um, emotionally, 
they leave these relationships. This is why people glow up after that because they, they've stepped into an abundant, a more abundant environment, a more abundant mindset. Now their nervous system can relax and can calm down. And now, and now they're more open and they can, they can put all of their, they can put more energy into, into creating something and to be more successful and to be more happy instead of always defending themselves, always being combative, always arguing. Money does not like chaos. So if you have peace of mind, you got peace in your house, you already rich, baby. You just don't even realize it. I need you to embody this. Comment in the comment section, I'm already rich. Start to embody the things that I'm saying, okay? Because the more you embody that, the more you program your mind with, I'm already rich, I'm already doing well, I'm already this, the, the more you will start to see those things happening in your life. Not the other way around. Not you sitting around waiting for it, thinking that it's going to happen, and then you like, okay, I, I'm starting to get there. No, start to embody that now it starts now okay you guys so again money does not like chaos if you have a peaceful home a peaceful mind you already rich okay you guys so number two number two the second sign that you are already rich is you have an abundant mindset because you have an abundant mindset you see more and because you see more, you can obtain more. You can acquire more. People who have a lack mindset, who do not operate in abundant mindset, it's hard for them to understand the opportunities available to them. Have you ever heard people say like, um, oh, th that's only for rich people. Say stuff like that. Or, um, um, oh, you can't start that business. Like, what? Well, who you think you is like people people ain't gonna pay attention to you these are people with a pessimistic mindset they don't think they can attract more money they don't think they could that they could become successful they don't think that they can um get out of their hometown and, and doors open up for them these type of people will always be stagnant let me know in the comment section if you have family members or if you have friends around you who always think so negatively about every situation about every circumstance it is so important that you understand what a pessimistic mindset will do to you it is literally like poison it will literally drain your bank account it'll drain you emotionally it'll have you feeling like like you can't escape you can't it's always one thing after another guess what it's your mindset it's the people around you it's their mindset if you know people let me know in the comment section who are pessimistic they are probably broke if you ever get on the phone with somebody and all they do is complain, nah, 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 nah. all they do is sit there and complain every time you talk to them, it's like they never have nothing positive to say. They never have nothing good to say. I can guarantee you they broke and they're going to stay that way because they have such a negative mindset. Doors do not open for those who don't believe do their doors are opening. Money doesn't come to those who don't believe in money. People have this the, the, the belief of, um, oh, money is the root of all evil. No, money is paper. Do you understand me? Money is paper. They print billions of bills every day. Believe me when I tell you, money is paper. It's the person who obtains the money who decides to be raggedy or good, who, good or evil. It ain't got nothing to do with the money, but people with that mindset, money is the root of all evil. Guess what? They will never have money. You cannot be expelling negative energy towards the very thing that you want to attract, baby. It don't work like that. Or heal your relationship with money because it'll open up more doors for you. People who have a pessimistic mindset don't have money. So if you got a, a, an abundant mindset, you can see more. You all you 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 daydream. You think big. Um, you 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 push your limits. You 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 say okay, maybe maybe my goal is you know to 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 make it, it, let's say okay, maybe my goal is to make a hundred dollars this week in my business. And then next week you go to $200 and then next, the, the third week you go to $300, whether you understand it or not, if you that type of person who's always pushing yourself, who knows that there's more possibilities out there, there's better out there. You, you don't, you don't even have to know how you can obtain it. You don't even have to know that how you go acquire it. You just know that there's better for you. You just know that you deserve more. You just know that there, there's always opportunities out there. You just know that God is <laughs> omniscient. You just know, you just know that this world is abundant. You already rich, baby. You are already rich. There is nothing more hindrance to, um, to, to wealth coming to somebody 
more than more than somebody who has a pessimistic mindset if you have an optimistic mindset you, you optimistic you think you believe that the glass is half full instead of half empty you already know that doors can open up for you you already know that god is a miracle worker you already know that things can happen for you instead of this can't happen that can't happen and when i always nagging and complaining about stuff baby you already rich you already rich and I need you to get it in your noggin and start to profess these things. I'm already rich. I'm already rich. Comment in the comment section. I'm already rich. Affirm it. I'm here affirming it with you. I'm already rich. Start to embody these things, okay, you guys? Because if you got an optimistic mindset, you got peace of mind, you are positive, you, <laughs> you don't understand how many doors can open up for you just by having that, the, that kind of mindset, just by having that kind of belief system. You already rich, baby. You already rich. Those who, <laughs> those who always complain and stay negative, I guarantee you they stay broke. Am I lying? If I'm lying, put me out of business. Put Coach E out of business if I'm lying. How many, how many people do you know who are so negative, always complaining, but they wealthy? I don't know because wealthy people, the wealthy people that I know, the wealthy people that I know, when they come across a problem, they don't sit there and complain and worry and cry about it. They, they start brainstorming. They start networking. Okay, well, I know I could sell this. I know I could do this. I know I could be on game about this. They start creating. They start creating. They, they, they get that. They get in motion. People who are negative, people who complain a lot, people who, uh, who worry other people, they broke. And it's the mindset. So make sure that's not you. Make sure you're not always complaining. Make sure you're not always nagging. Make sure you don't always look at the guys as half empty instead of half full. Make sure you open up your mind and open up your heart and open up energetically to be solution oriented. Comment that in the comment section. I'm solution oriented. The more you solution oriented, the more money you will attract, the more opportunities you will attract. You already rich, baby. You are already rich. You, you just don't even realize it. You already rich, okay? Start embodying that mindset. Start embodying that in your character and your personality. And baby, I guarantee you, you're going to have doors opening up for you. You are already rich, okay? You already rich. Number three, the third sign that you are already rich is you are emotionally intelligent, Emotional intelligence go a long way, you guys, because when you are emotionally intelligent, that means you can regulate your own emotions. You can regulate your own nervous system. You don't let somebody else's behavior or what they do do to you or don't do for you or, or whatever they said to you make you just crash out. Let me know in the comment section if you know people who just crash out. They can't, they don't control their emotions. They just ready to pop off all the time. They just got they just got a hot head. That is a, a repellent of money. When you can control your own emotions and you can calm yourself down, you can bring yourself peace of mind. You, you, can, you are the master of your own mind. You are the master of your own emotions. You are the dictator of how you behave and how you act and how you respond. Baby, you are abundant. You are rich in spirit. Comment that in the comment section. I'm rich in spirit. That is, that is um, something, somebody who is rich in spirit. When you don't just crash out every time somebody say something that you don't like, every time somebody do something that's unfavorable to you, every time you somebody bump into you, you're not just wigging out. Because <laughs> let, 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 let's just say 9.99999 people are childish. They're immature. They don't have emotional intelligence. They wigging out. They crashing out. They out here fighting. They out here tripping. They out here... Um, uh, ha having social media wars and all, all this weird stuff. Uh-uh. That is a repellent of money. People that you see going back and forth with each other on social media, they broke. They broke. Because people who are abundant, they don't do that. Ain't nobody worried about what you what you saying on social media, arguing back and forth, having these social media wars. P people who are always posting, I'm bothered this, they broke. It's a poor man's mindset. Being argumentative, Ready to fight people all the time, always worrying about clapbacks and getting backs and, and worried about um outing other people and exposing people and doing this and doing that and and I'm gonna you know put you on front street. They broke. That's a poor men's mentality. People who are abundant in spirit, people who are abundant in real life in their world, people who are working towards uh, generational world wealth, people who are working towards their goals, working towards their hobbies, working towards something. They ain't worried about that. You worried about your next move. You worried about your next come up. You worried about maintaining happiness. 
in peace. You were part of the winner circle. Man, don't let Coach E find you on social media having having wars with people. Uh-uh. Don't let Coach E find out you in the club fighting people, dragging people by their weave. Uh-uh. 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 That's a broke man's mentality. People who you see behaving in these in these behaviors, they're broke. Don't, uh, you want to be down there with the brokies? Y'all y'all know mulatto song. Brokey. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. And again, it's not about all, it's, it doesn't always start with how many coins you got in your bank account. It all, it, remember money is an energy. It starts in your mindset. It starts in your behavior. It starts in the way that you, you, um, you present yourself. It starts in the way that you act. It starts in the way that you, that you don't pop off. It starts in the way that you do have self-control because God be looking at you as some people like, okay, you one self-control away from your breakthrough. You one decision away from your breakthrough. It starts in your mindset. It starts in your behavior. It starts in what you are embodying, what you are exuding. Okay. So if you can control your emotions, you're not just crashing out. Anytime somebody piss you off, you're not just ready to get their ass that Midas touch. Because, baby, listen, I'll be ready to give people that Midas touch sometimes. But you can't do that. That's what, that's what they want you to do. That's what brokies want you to do. People who are broke. People who have no ambition. People who are always complaining. People who are always nagging. People who are always hating on others. People who, the, these people are broke. Okay? It's a broke man's mentality. It's a broke man's behavior. It's broke energy. Comment in the comment section. No broke energy. You don't. You ain't having no broke energy. Your energy. Got, you got to be rich in energy. You got to be rich in spirit. You are already rich in spirit. You are already rich, and you don't even realize it if you can control your emotions. If you can display emotional intelligence. If you are the master of your own mind, and you don't let somebody what somebody else say, what somebody else do, what they don't do, what they don't control how you feel. And I'm not saying you won't feel things, but you're not crashing out is what I'm saying. You're not wigging out. You're not, you're not um, losing your damn mind. You're not spiraling out of control and going downhill because somebody say something stupid that you don't like. Baby, listen, if you got emotional intelligence, you are already rich. You really are. All right. Number four, you guys, the fourth sign that you are already rich is you, <laughs> you are fruitful. Okay. And what I mean is you understand that biblical term of producing, being productive. You're a creator. If you don't know God to be nothing, you got to know God to be a creator. Excuse me. God is a creator, okay? You're not, you're not somebody out here just, God, please help me with this and please help me with that. But you don't have no, you got, you got all this, this faith, but no works. Uh-uh. You got all this faith. You sitting there hoping and praying and think that the blessing just going to fall out the sky. Don't get me wrong. Blessings can fall out the sky, but you don't have no action. The universe favor those who have, who have, who are bold. Okay. When you start making bold steps, making bold decisions, taking those bold steps towards your goals that you're praying for, making those sacrifices, those bold sacrifices to the things that you're trying to bring in fruition, to the goals, to the dreams, to the businesses that you're trying to bring in, that's when things start dropping and falling out the sky. The universe favors the bold, okay? Understand that. The universe favors the bold. People who are not afraid to take risks. People who are not to t afraid to take a leap of faith. You, you are fruitful. You've got that faith. You take steps towards the things that you want. You take steps. You take actions towards the things that you're asking for. Then things start to fall out the sky. Not you just sitting there lazy, ain't worth a, day, a goddamn day in your life. And you just, God, please make, please uh, give me a business. But you're not taking steps towards the business. Or you operate in the business, but you're scared to get out there. You're scared to do this. You operate out of too much fear. Nothing's going to fall into your lap. You've got to present a plate for if you want to eat clear off the table so the buffet can land but you've got to you've got to have some action you've got to start taking steps towards these things your, your faith has to be paired with action your faith has to be paired with works if you are fruitful you are being a creator you are taking risks you believe in yourself your faith is more powerful than your fear you already rich in spirit. You don't even understand. You already rich. You already wealthy in spirit. You just needed to come to you in the material world. 
You are already rich. Embody it. I'm already rich. Let, let, let Coach E connect the dots for you. You are already rich, okay, you guys? You already rich, baby. You already rich. I'm excited for you. You already rich, y'all. You are already rich, okay? Let me know in the comment section, have you been fruitful? We are we're in a season of transformation going, going into the fall. It's the perfect time because things are shedding and you're stepping into a new you. Be fruitful. Produce something. Create something. Believe in yourself. Take a little bit of a risk. Do something that you have never done before. Try something new. Do something different. The universe favors those who are bold, okay? And money likes that. Money is drawn to that. Money is like, oh, you believe in yourself? <laughs> Let me double that up for you. Oh, you out here taking risks? Let me triple that up for you. Oh, you out here believing it? <laughs> what? The universe gonna match you, baby. Money is going to come to you. Money gonna come to you. More opportunities are gonna come to you, okay? Which says wait me into number five, okay? The fifth sign that you are already rich is you've worked on and improved your self-love. Self-love is the foundation for all abundance, okay? And let, let me just dissect what that means a little bit because when you don't love yourself, you self-sabotage a lot. And there's a lot of, y'all know I'm a life coach, book a session with me. There's a lot of people who love themselves, but not to that maximum capacity. When you have worked on your self-love, I'm, I'm talking hard. You don't went through some dark nights, some tears, some let some letting go of toxic behavior, some self-realizations coming into this, the, your, your new self, letting go of old behaviors, you dying to your old self, you crying. You don't, I'm, I'm talking, you don't really worked on yourself. That self-love. It leads to more abundance. It leads to more opportunities because you, you're doing you're doing the soul work for it. You do, you're doing this soul work to align yourself with more opportunities, to align yourself with more riches. Now, now, now because you deserve it and you're not going to fumble it. When you don't love yourself, unconsciously, whether you realize it or not, unconsciously back there in the back of that brain, you sabotage stuff because, oh, you might have a loved one, a, a, a person of, of love interest come into your life. And now you're like, oh my God, I don't deserve this. This is too good to be true. Where did this person come from? And now you do, you, now you self sabotaging it because you don't think that you deserve it. That's not. That's because you're not really operating in self love. You don't. You think it's too good to be true. Another good example is, um, oh, um, I got approved for a. Uh, let's say you got approved for an eight hundred thousand dollar loan to buy a house, but you're like, I'm just gonna get this. Um, I'm just going to get this one bedroom townhouse because I don't need, I don't need a three bedroom. I don't need a four bedroom, even though you, you got qualified for all this money. I don't need that. Unconsciously, what you're saying is you don't deserve that. You, you, you don't know how to, re, you don't know how to receive the abundance that's raining down on you. And don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Yes, there's going to be a lot of times you're like, eh, all that is not necessary. Da, da, da. But if you energetically, if you push it away, the abundance that's, that God is trying to rain down on you, guess what? Next time you're going to get the short end of the stick. Be in a position to receive. And when you love yourself, you be like, hell yeah, I deserve it all. Now, regardless if you get those type of things or not, that's just a preference. But you got to make sure you understand it. You got that because you deserve it. There's a lot of people who sabotage blessings who don't have doors open enough for them because you don't think you deserve it. Or you might think that you think that you deserve it, but your behavior says otherwise. You might have somebody who want to treat you to lunch and you say, oh, no, 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 no. I could pay for myself. You're not, you're not in a position to receive. And they're like, well, I asked you out here. Let me pay for you. And you just keep saying no. And they're like, why won't you let me pay for your lunch? And you just kept saying no, because unconsciously, energetically, you are not in a position to receive. And I'm not saying don't um, use your discernment. You'll know who tried to gift you something only to dangle something over your head and say they did this for you. You'll you, use your discernment. But a lot of people that I speak to on the phone, they block blessings because they're not open to receive. Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Is it hard for you to receive favors from people? Is it hard for you to receive gifts from people? Now, again, use your discernment. But if you know that there's people, good people in your life, best friends, cousins that you rock, really rock with, and you know they got your best interests, people on the job who want to reward you for an amazing job that you were doing, but you keep pushing all that away, 
get in the habit of receiving. Comment that in the comment section. It is easy for me to receive because the more you are open to receive, again, using discernment, the more you are in a position to receive, the more you will receive. And I promise you it works just like that. But you can't, you can't be asking for miracles. And then when the miracle come, you're like, oh no, I got it. I can't, I can't. And God is like, I, you asked for this miracle and I'm giving it to you. Open up to receive. Open up to receive. And a part of opening up to receive is loving yourself, knowing that you deserve gifts. I tell myself, I, I deserve gifts everywhere I go. I deserve for people to treat, give me queen treatment everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I don't care if I'm at the grocery store, the gas station, Walmart, the mall, go, going to hang out with some friends, going to hang out with a, a love interest. I deserve queen treatment everywhere I go. That is, it is embedded in my mind. So when I don't receive queen treatment, it's a repellent. I'm like, oh, hell no. That is beneath me. And it ain't got nothing to do with being cocky. It has everything to do with being have, having self-love. Because if I'm loving myself, then guess what? I can pour all that other love into somebody else who is loving me back and I can magnify that times 10. You've got to be in a position to receive stuff. you got to be in a position to where you have worked on your self-love for you to know that you deserve to receive. The more you work on that self-love, the more you, you start loving yourself and you start telling yourself what you do deserve and you allow yourself to experience these gifts. You allow, especially for you ladies, you allow yourself uh, for men to do things for you. You allow, you, you allow people to, to let you, to put you in that soft air. Baby, listen, women are receivers. Men are givers, women are receivers. And I'm not saying women don't give men stuff, but they're just like a plug. Women are the receivers, men are the plugs, if you picking up what I'm putting down. It is the natural, biological, genetical, genetic makeup of who we are. Don't, don't shoot me. I'm not the person who created this. This is, what, this is what God has ordained. Women are receivers. So for you ladies, get in the position of receiving. Okay, so work on that. Work on receiving. And of course, you know, somebody pouring into you, you pour back into them. You know, you show that love too. But, but you got to start being a receiver. It is going to magnify your feminine, magnify your feminine energy. It is going to enhance your attractiveness when you walk around and you not cocky, not arrogant, but you just know that you, you walk around with that air about you that you know you are a receiver. And I promise you, it's going to be a magnet. People are going to want to do for you. Okay. So for everyone, men and women, make sure you are in a position to receive. Make sure you are working on that self-love because men, it is attractive when women see that you love yourself. It is attractive that when women see that, that you're not just out here um, sticking in everybody, moving in everybody. You're, you're very selective with your energy. You move in, um, you move in a certain way. You move in accordingly. You, you kind of pick, that's attractive. That's attractive. And the more you um, the more you increase your value by being kind of stingy, guess what? That woman is going to want to pour in you, into you even more. You're positioning yourself to receive that un unconditional love for that woman or whoever it may be. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be on a job. It could be around family members. It could be with your neighbors. It could be about anything. But when you work on that self-love, baby, listen, self-love is the abundance for all. Self-love is the foundation for all abundance. I promise y'all, okay? It is going to change your life. So get into that mindset, get, in the, uh, get into a position to receive and you do that by loving yourself, okay? And when you love yourself, baby, you are already rich. You already rich. Y'all, let, let me know what you thought about this video. You are already rich. I need y'all to connect the dots that, with that. I need you to understand and start to embody that. Get it in your mind, get it in your body, get it in your heart, get it in your spirit. I am already rich. Start affirming these things. Start telling yourself that I am already rich because a lot of the times we could be so hyper-focused on the problems, the bills, the this, the that. And we're not focused on, um, you know what? I don't need nothing. I, you might not have, have everything that you want, but you don't. Wants and needs are different. Because there's things that I have that, that I don't have that I want. But I'm like, okay, let me not even complain, God, because I don't need nothing. You got a roof over your head. You got food in your refrigerator. Your bills is paid. I don't care if your bank account is zero. But if you don't need nothing, baby, you winning. I promise you, you winning. There's been plenty of times when my bank account was zero, but I didn't need nothing. My bills was paid. I have food. I have clothes. I have warm shelter. Like it, just, it was just bothersome because the, the, the balance in the bank account wasn't there. 
But I had to sit back and say, but I don't need nothing. What am I worried about? What am I stressing about? Stress is just robbing me of the joys of today. It's like, it, it, there's nothing, I don't need nothing. Why am I stressing myself? I don't need nothing. So if you find yourself in a position, you might not have everything that you want, but you don't need nothing. Baby, listen, you already rich. And it's so important for you to embody that in your mind, embody that in your soul, embody that in your spirit, okay? You already rich. I love y'all. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'll see you next time. What y'all gonna do today though? Let me know in the comment section what y'all got going on. Y'all, I'm tired. If you can't tell, I'm tired, but I'm about to go to boxing. I had to take a break from boxing because my body was hurting. Um, I took like a week off and now I'm about to get back in it because it be whooping my butt. Like my whole body be hurting y'all. My neck, my shoulders, my arms, my back, my legs. But it is a good workout y'all. Cause let me tell you, when I say I be throwing them bowls, baby, <laughs> like it's such a wonderful workout and it's very empowering. I love it. So um, y'all, if you're not doing nothing today on this Saturday, get you some exercise in, go to the gym, take a nice brisk walk outside, do something good for yourself, okay? Move that energy around and give yourself some self-love, okay? I love y'all.